I'm Doug Pepperdine. We're out at Pierce State Park in Calgary, and uh, we're going to have a look at some semi trucks. We're here with uh, Neil Wilkinson. He's going to tell us a little bit about his rig. This is a Tamiya Cascadia Evolution, and it's got the MFC sound module controller, does the whole shake and lights and air brakes and horn and that. I got two more on the build at home already. Yeah. It's a beautiful little truck to run. Now this one has a three-speed transmission in it as well. Yes, uh, I changed the motor. The only the only downside on them is the motors they come with are like a 27 turn or something. Yeah, which way is too way fast. too fast. Not scale. Yeah. And like all us guys that run these, we run them scale. We're just trying to get a whole bunch of guys together so we could actually build kind of a little truck stop city kind of deal. Thank you for talking with us. Oh, you're welcome anytime. We gotta have a look at this one. Awesome. A real life tanker truck. How much does it hold? Maximum capacity with the bladder that I've got in it, I have about two gallons of water. Wow. So it's it's pulling a good 20 plus pounds worth of weight. Oh, nice and cold. <laughs> That's awesome. We're with Tyler here, and uh, if you don't mind, can you tell sure. us a little bit about your rig. Well, it's a uh, Tamiya Grand Hauler. It's actually just a new one. I actually just put it together here uh, about uh, about a month ago. Full kit with the uh, MFU trailer, all lights fully loaded. Sound, here. of course, yeah, gotta have sound. Oh, it's a beautiful rig. Tyler, something I do have to ask too is the shake that's on there. Yeah, well, in, inside in the kit with the MFU kit, you get a, uh, another little motor, yep. and you put a weight on the end of it, and what it does is as you turn it on, it vibrates and it speeds up with the chassis. So as you speed up, the vibration speeds up. Oh, wow. Trying to give it that simulation of, uh, of a running engine. So you're running standard brushed motor then? You're Correct. not running brushless? Correct. Yeah, and I'm getting, uh, with me on the trail right now, I'll probably get about two hours out of the battery and I run a 55 mAh. Wow. Sorry, 5,000 mAh. Uh, That's plenty. Yeah. That's plenty. And uh, yeah, not even running the lipo. Nickel metal hydrate, Nickel so metal hydrate. yeah, no, it works really good. Well, that's tried and true technology, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, why mess with a good thing? Oh, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, excellent, Tyler, thank hey, you so thank much. You. Appreciate yeah. it. So Jerry, tell us about that wooden deck on that rig. That's a lot of work. I extended these rails down a little bit and I have, uh, I have ratchet straps so I can tie, tie my load down. Nice. Okay, so complete with the deck and the truck and all the loads that you've done, how, how much time do you got in it, do you think? I've got about 40 hours in this truck. Yeah? Yeah. That's a fair chunk. 40 hours build time. That includes yeah. the truck, the trailer. I put extra lights down the sides. I don't have batteries in right now, so I can't turn them on. They're on a separate switch over there. The deck is all done in, uh, underneath on two-sided tape. This color, is actually gun oil. Really? Yeah. So it's it's all oiled, it's not varnish? No, it's oil, it's a special oil for doing gun stocks. Gun stocks. It wow. dries like a varnish, yeah. but yet it don't shine. Well, that's some beautiful work for sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, Jerry, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, yeah. thank you.